morning, family in Jesus. I hope you had a good night's rest. You are this morning awake and alert and alive and ready to get back into the Word of God. And if you want to follow in the Word of God this morning, I'm going to be reading one sentence, just one, out of the book of 1 Chronicles from chapter 22. And it's literally one sentence that the Holy Spirit ministered to my heart, to my spirit this morning. So how this came uh, to me last night about two o'clock, I, I couldn't sleep. And I felt it was the Lord that was keeping me awake so that I could spend time with him. So I sat up nice and straight. I closed my eyes. I pictured my king in front of me and the Lord started speaking to me. And exactly what the Lord ministered to us yesterday about meeting Jesus face to face, the Lord wants to take it a little bit further today. And I thank the Lord for that because I can see where the Holy Spirit is going with this, with us, the body of Christ, is the Holy Spirit is pulling us closer and closer to Jesus so that when this lockdown, this shutdown is over and we get back, physically get back, I sense in my spirit that the Lord is going to do a huge thing in this town of ours, in Altham. And a huge thing in this church of ours. So, last night as I was spending time with the Lord, I, I felt a longing inside my heart for Jesus. And I've been going through last week and this whole week up until today, I've been going through a thing where I've been calling the Lord more and more. In everything that I do, in everything that I say, everywhere I go. Um, so I've been trying to seek the Lord more. And then this scripture just came up and I'd like to share it with you this morning. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will minister it to your spirit and that you will be blessed by it. So 1 Chronicles 22, David is here speaking to his men. And verse 19, it's one sentence that the Lord shared with me this morning and it just opened up a whole new way of me seeking the Lord. So 1 Chronicles 22 verse 19, David says here, Now devote your heart and soul to seeking the Lord your God. This to me was so beautiful. So the question that came to me while I was spending time with the Lord is, me as, as a man of God, as a child of God, what am I devoting my heart and my soul to at this very moment, today? What is the one thing that is claiming the attention and the time of my heart and my soul? So David, most probably one of the closest companions of God ever in the, in the Word of God, is teaching us here that the one thing that we must focus on today, the one thing that we must concentrate on today, is to say to ourselves, I must devote my heart and my soul to seeking the Lord my God. Now, we spoke about this in the church a few months ago. And to seek something or someone is totally different than to look for something or someone. When you send someone into a room to look for a wallet, the, per the person opens the door and just scans the room and can't, can't find it. So comes back and says... I can't find the wallet. Why? Because they were looking. But if you then say to that person, please can you go back to that room and look for the wallet again? If you find it, I will give you $100 that is inside the wallet. Now the person's motivation has changed. When they walk into that room now, they won't look anymore. They will seek which means they will, they will literally lift up 
pick up everything in that room. They will open up every drawer, open up every cupboard. They will lift the carpets if they have to, but they will seek to find that wallet because there's now a hundred dollar motivation behind it. And what David is saying here to us is, we must devote our whole heart and our whole soul to seeking the Lord our God. Why? Because David of all people knew that being in the courts or being in the presence of God for one day is better than being on this earth a thousand years. He knows that if I devote my heart and my soul to seeking the Lord my God today, and I find Him, that I will be blessed in a way that nobody can explain to me in any language on earth today. So I want to encourage you as my brother and sister today as well, to devote your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God with everything inside of you. And I want to go a step further in something that the Holy Spirit ministered to me two o'clock last night. Let us, as his children, as his disciples, as his workers here on earth, let us choose to see Jesus in everything. Let us choose to Find Jesus in everything. And by that I mean, let us find Jesus in the sickness that we might have. Let us find him in that. Because in the word of God, the lame men and the blind men in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John found Jesus in their sickness. That man with leprosy that we read about yesterday found Jesus in his sickness. Let us try and find Jesus in the storms that we are going through. So if you're going through a storm today that no one else will understand, just know that Peter found Jesus in a storm. Peter got out of a comfortable boat, a safe boat, and walked on an ocean in a storm because he found Jesus there. Even if we lose a, a family member or a friend in that death, let us try and find Jesus in that. Because Lazarus found Jesus in death. So as we devote our hearts and our spirits today to seek the Lord our God, in everything, let us try and see Jesus in everything. Let us try and find him in everything, in every circumstance, in every condition, in everything that we are going through, in everything that our friends and our family and our loved ones and the church family is going through. Let us choose to see Jesus in it. And not to think that we are now left one side and left alone on ourselves to try and sort it out by ourselves. Because that, brothers and sisters, is not our God. Our God, the Father of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Master, does not leave us alone when we fall into a pit. He does not leave us alone when we are struck with sickness or disease. He does not leave us alone when we make a mistake and enter into a bad business deal and lose money and fall financially flat. That is not our God. He is a loving, forgiving, kind God with mercy and grace that we will never understand until the day that we meet him in heaven. So today, I want to encourage you as a, a man of God, as a brother in Christ, I want to encourage you today 
to devote your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Take your heart today and, and, and inspect it and have a look to see, is my heart devoted to something or someone else? Because if it is, then I'm crying out today and I'm saying, Lord Jesus, through your Holy Spirit, today is the day that I want to move away from that thing. And I want to devote my heart and my soul to seeking you and only you. I want to seek you in the storm like Peter was seeking you. I want to seek you in my sickness or in my illness that I have today. Like the blind men and the lame men and the people with leprosy in your word seek you. I want to seek you, Lord Jesus, in a time where you were being crucified and the disciples were still seeking you. I want to seek you like that, Lord. I don't want to turn to anything or anyone else other than you, Lord Jesus. I want to seek you today with my whole heart and my whole spirit. I don't want one little bit of my heart to be devoted to something else other than seeking you. So brothers and sisters, if that is you this morning, then as we pray right now, just invite the Holy Spirit into your, in, into your heart, into your, your soul. Call the Holy Spirit into this temple to take complete control so that we can seek Jesus with everything inside of us. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, Lord, we lift you up today. We raise our hands and our hearts unto you as a gift of thanksgiving for the life that you have given us. Because of this life, Lord Jesus, you have allowed us to meet you. You have allowed us to hear about you. You've allowed us to read about you, Lord Jesus. You have allowed us to every single day seek you more and more, Lord Jesus. And today is the day that together, as a family in Jesus, we stand and we say, Lord Jesus, today I want to devote my heart and my spirit to seek you even more, Lord. I don't want a, a piece of my heart or my spirit to be devoted to anything other than seeking you, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, that through your Holy Spirit, that you will con continue and keep doing your perfect work in our lives, Lord Jesus. To draw us closer and closer to you. Because today is the day that we confess that you are our salvation, Lord. You are our rock, our strength. You are our tower. You are our joy and our hope, our peace, Lord Jesus. That is you, Lord. And we want to seek you and draw closer to you, Lord Jesus, in everything that we do from now on. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the potential of this day, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that in this day you are calling us by name to draw closer to you, Lord. To draw closer to your heart. To hear your will. For us, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord. And you are good to us. And we thank you for your mercy and your grace. And we pray, Lord, that you will take our lives, Lord. And you will move us in such a way that we can become disciples that build your kingdom effectively, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. I truly pray today that you will devote your whole heart to seeking Jesus. Just buy out this time that the Lord has given you.
to draw closer in everything that you do today. If you are sitting and, and, and you're working on a project, while you are working, seek the Lord. If you're speaking to someone on the phone, seek the Lord. If you're working on the computer, if you're reading a book, if you're reading the Bible, if you're praying, seek the Lord today. In everything you do, do it for Jesus. And I guarantee, according to the word of God, that your life will be blessed today more than you can imagine. So I pray that over you today, that the Lord will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you may ask or think. And I pray and I ask this in Jesus' name until we meet again tomorrow. Be blessed and be filled with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen.